decided to use a surrogate because we've been trying for a second child for about four or five years. Um, our first child was born premature at 25 weeks or about six months. Um, and then after having him, we had three miscarriages and an ectopic pregnancy. And emotionally, I just could not take it anymore. So that's how we made the decision. My, when I married my husband, I said, I'm going to have two kids and I want them before 30. And I did exactly what I said. And I didn't think about that not being a possible. So when I, you know, I took that with the story of hearing old friends and I just decided, well, maybe I can somehow help. I'm still young enough, I felt. So, and our family was complete. So I kind of just looked into it and said, yep, that's for me. <laughs> and then I never looked back. It's interesting. They had watched some of the struggles I went through. It was a little difficult to hide everything I was going through. So they, they knew the entire roller coaster. Um, but also had stayed silent, you know, and were sort of letting me come to my decision on my own. When I finally went into uh, my colleague's office and said, you know, I think it's time for me to get a surrogate, he jumped out of his chair. He was so excited. He hugged me. He was like, I agree. Um, and they supported me 100%. So, you know, they really tried to make me the patient and separate you know, my role as a physician when it came to Jessica and um, both, you know, both my colleagues, Dr. Rosen and Dr. Wong really took over and took care of Jessica and did all the screening um, and did the transfer and, and put, you know, my husband and I in those patient roles. And um, I mean, we're wonderful about it. So this was my second journey and so after my first journey, I decided to go back to the same agency that I'd worked with before. I had a great experience. I loved that they took care of everything. Um, and so I just went back to them and they said, hey, we've got a wonderful couple or, you know, and they brought us together. I didn't know before the match call that uh, <laughs> Carrie was an IVF doctor. And on the call, she says, do you know that, that what my job is? And I said, no. And so she told me, and I think she thought I could have a problem with that. But on the contrary, I was more reassured, like how amazing is that, that I will have my own like professional person answering any question I might have like right there. So I thought it was just a wonderful thing. Um, so I, because this was my second journey, I had had previous experience with, you know, another clinic and it wasn't the most, um, wasn't the best experience, I'd say. So going into this time, um, I kind of knew what I did or didn't want, but I didn't even have to worry about that with reproductive partners. Um, they, like Carrie said, they took care of me and I see that they take care of people all the time. Um, they really do care. Um, I felt like a number at my previous uh, clinic and at this one, even at my medical screening, Dr. Rosen like took the time and he talked to me and went over everything. Like I was a patient of his. And um, so it was just an amazing experience. During my surrogacies, I knew that I wanted to continue in the surrogacy world somehow, even if I wasn't physically being able to be surrogate any longer. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I thought maybe I would join an agency. And um, I was very interested in doing that. And then Carrie, you know, she came up, celebrated my birthday, and she went to the and said, have you ever considered starting your own? And I thought, no, I hadn't. <laughs> but what I loved is that I had the passion. I gained the knowledge. I was constantly learning throughout the process, going to conferences. And because I was just so fascinated with it, I, I just a passion that, um, she said that it did spark a fire so i just started going through the process well what if i do this part before it goes then everything just kept falling into place and um so it came about um, my husband and i do it together i am i say that he handles the boring side he handles the whole financial side of the business which i it's not my favorite part i love the people part i love walking surrogates and intended parents through this process just like 
when I was a surrogate. I want to give them all the compassion and communication that they need. Jessica was was my rock and it, you know, as much as I'm a fertility doctor, I had no idea what this experience would bring. I, you know, there are just certain uh, emotions and events and, and a whole different journey that, that surrogacy encompasses, I can't even say the word, but that surrogacy surrounds that I really had no idea of. Um, and, you know, what I would say is it's something that is really scary on the out, like on the outset of it, but it's something that can be an incredibly rich, amazing, beautiful journey. Um, and I am so forever grateful to Jessica because of bringing Cole into our lives. And um, I think that how wonderful Jessica was to me, that's what she translated and she's bringing to her own agency. And so it, it is just an amazing thing to continue to work with her and work with her in this level and give people the journeys that her and I had.